One interesting thing about the product forest bathing is that it utilizes a minor cannabinoid, CBG, as well as multiple terpenoids, including beta carophyllene, which is actually a food-grade cannabinoid. And when you utilize these minor cannabinoids, what happens is the brain develops a whole bunch of new endocannabinoid receptors, or as people call them, cannabinoid receptors, especially the CB1 receptor. What that does is allow our intake of THC to be extremely effective. What we find is people that use THC oil, such as RSO or FICO or whatever they may call their THC oil, is that over a period of time they develop a tolerance. But by using forest bathing, what happens is that tolerance is broken, it's reset, and it allows an individual to roll a little bit of this roll on their wrist and on their temple or the back of their neck and create new endocannabinoid receptors. So our actual endocannabinoid anandamide can land on those. Now, this is a bliss molecule. It's much like THC. So this is how forest bathing gives us the feeling like we've been invigorated by more cannabinoids than just CBD 